Okay, everybody, a uh, quick little diagnostics thing. If you end up with a P code for a misfire, um, the PO number will differ from cylinder to cylinder, uh, but a code reader should tell you which cylinder it is. So it'll be a PO4 something or other. I don't remember them all off by heart, but it'll be a PO4 something or other. Um, let's say it is a cylinder two so what you have to do is you got to figure out what cylinder number two is um, this is the 07 bmw uh, for my truck however um, this is the configuration for a v6 truck okay um, and the scan tool might say bank one or bank two um, in addition to the cylinder number bank one is going to be the row of cylinders that has cylinder number one in it um, bank two is the other bank okay so it might say bank one cylinder three so that would be this row here that cylinder um, etc if you have a v uh, sorry if you have a v8 engine you'll just have two more cylinders on there obviously and you'll have a different firing a different configuration um, inline six works like this okay runs that way front to back i already explained that in another video one two three etc so if it says bank one, well, it only has one bank because it's an inline engine. Um, it can't have two banks. Um, it, some tools I've seen will scan for both banks. And so if you scroll through all of the available information, it might say misfire bank one, and then it'll list no misfires for bank two. Um, there better not be any misfires on bank two because there is no bank two, right? It's all one bank. It's all one row of cylinders. Um, so let's say, for example, that you have a misfire on bank one, cylinder two, which would be this guy right here, which would be, tuck that in there, which would be this coil right here. There's number one, there's number two. Here's a really, really simple way to double check the diagnostics, to double check whether it's the coil, okay? You take the coil off. And on, like I said, on the BMW, super easy. Take this one out and take the number one coil out and just switch them, okay? And uh, remember that you have to clear the codes first. So use your code reader to clear the codes. And then remember that this one came out of the number two spot. Now we're moving it here, okay? And They're all identical co coils, by the way. They don't differ from cylinder to cylinder. They're the same in each cylinder. Um, so if this was a faulty coil and it triggered a number two cylinder misfire, then with the codes cleared and the coils swapped, all you do is fire up the engine and drive the vehicle again. And if you get an engine light and a P code, download the code, and if the code has moved to cylinder number one, if you now have a P code saying that you have a misfire cylinder number one, you know that the coil that you took from here to here, the problem traveled with it. In other words, it's a faulty coil. And if you want to check it again, check it again. Switch it and move it to number three. Okay, switch those. Um, and then clear the codes, run it again. And if you get a misfire cylinder three, Basically what you know is every single place that you put this coil, it generates a fault in that cylinder. You know you have a faulty coil and that's the one you replace. Okay, real simple. Um, if you move the coil and the problem stays here, then you know that the coil is fine because the problem didn't leave. So then I would try swapping spark plugs. And if you still have a problem if the problem stays with cylinder number two, even after you've moved coils and moved spark plugs, then you've got something else going on, okay? So I would honestly look, first of all, at something as simple as the wires here. Um, double check, look inside the boot here, look for corrosion and moisture. Make sure that there's nothing in there that's gonna interfere with a good signal. Um, look for cracks in the wires. Um, my son had a 2001 car and the heat from the engine was honestly, it, all these wires were cracking and when you flexed them open like that, 
um, they split open like an accordion and uh, so he had all kinds of misfires when he drove in wet weather because the water would get in there and cause resistance faults and and it would cause interference in the signal wire and the coil wouldn't necessarily fire when it was supposed to because the signal was being interrupted by the moisture and we found that if you cleared the codes blew this all dry um, then it would be fine um, and so we basically had to wrap this up and we put some electric electrical tape on it um, the one wire actually had a loose contact on it and we found that if you um, if you move the wire you could cause the coil to either engage or disengage it was almost like a switch and it was a broken wire inside the jacket so the wire itself was was faulty but the jacket on the outside didn't have a visible split that was a little bit tough to diagnose but we could actually cause it to fault just by moving a wire um, and ended up re replacing a section of wire um, but yeah usually like coil failure is pretty common it really is and spark plugs when they get a lot of mileage on them um, they basically well they don't they don't make quite as nice a spark so you don't get good fuel economy you don't get fresh crisp starting in the morning um, you have some power loss incomplete combustion that sort of thing um, so any way that you can sort out some of your issues like that on your own uh, save yourself a fistful of money um, and uh, like I said I think in the other video if you do end up having to take it to a garage to kind of go to next level repairs at least explain to them look here's I did this I moved the coils I moved the spark plugs I maybe even put in new spark plugs if they're due for it anyways um, because I have seen old spark plugs trigger a misfire code and that goes away when you put fresh plugs in um, I've also seen incorrect spark plugs or low quality spark plugs cause a misfire particularly on fussy vehicles like well like these right they have a very particular um, ignition system and it's very high energy and if you have a low quality spark plug you'll get a bad misfire in some cases um, or you might just get a misfire under load when the vehicle's working hard um, and then it doesn't misfire when it's not working hard um, but that again can be caused actually by low quality spark plugs um, so make sure your spark plugs are matched to the vehicle make sure they're correct make sure they're a good quality spark plug um, basically follow the specifications that the manufacturer wants don't go and get spark plugs that you know at a yard sale someplace like that um, you get what you pay for okay um, same thing with coils for that matter if you do choose to go to an aftermarket coil um, go to an aftermarket coil from a name brand um, and uh, I'm not going to give name brands on my video but um, there are no name brands that aren't quite as well recognized and then there's name brands that are more well recognized if you go on to an ownership forum you know there, there's forums for almost every vehicle um, there's a Dodge Dakota forum um, and there's most certainly a, a BMW um, X3 forum and just go into the uh, chat section there or go into the various conversations that they've archived and do a search for spark plug recommendations and it'll tell you um, what people have tried and what they think the best option is same thing with ignition coils they'll tell you the best option for an ignition coil okay so that's anyway real simple little thing switch the coils clear the codes see if the problem travels from cylinder to cylinder or it doesn't and that can help you diagnose your problem there you go